On this week's episode of Make It Yours, we're getting flexible. We're talking lock and ride flex on all of our sleds. One of the most exciting developments we've made on all of our sleds in the last couple of years is lock and ride flex. Mm -hmm. So Josh, tell us a little bit about just what lock and ride flex actually is. Yeah, so lock and ride flex is a custom system that when we were coming up with the matrix chassis, we wanted to figure out a different way, a better way that was easier for customers to attach accessories, you know, bring bags, bring different things with them throughout the day. So a team up there led by um, uh, an engineer who had been with the company for over 20 years. He was um, instrumental in access pro ride chassis. Uh, he, he actually was the lead on this. So what it is is, um, a series of dowel systems that attach to the to the tunnel of the machine. So Trail has this T-slot system, RMK. Uh, you remove a sticker and, and install these dowels here. Uh, so as you can see, we have a seat on here now. So our M2 seat uses the lock and ride flex system as well as our new jump seat. So Pat, if you want to give me a hand on that sure. side so you can see. You just you lift this. Lift this up and pull out and it's right there. So you can see we have two of the dowel systems um, attached here. So what that allows you to do is, you know, if you want a seat here, you could also have one of our one position bags here. Uh, you could put a two position bag. We have a rack that goes on there. Um, so it really allows you to customize however you want to ride that day, or if you're bringing a passenger or doing chores, whatever you're doing, it allows you to kind of customize for that day. So on, uh, on sleds with longer tunnels, like a 155, for instance, are there actually more than two stages here? Yep, so there are. So on most trail sleds, they're gonna have the two positions, and then on an RMK at 155 and above, it actually has three of these. So we have a large Barant bag uh, that goes up, up to the three position. Otherwise, you could do three, three one positions or a two position and a one position to get to those three positions. Gotcha. So talk to me about the different components of the actual system itself, right? So we've got the dowels yep. here. So these are what latch, yep. What are those? Yep, so these are the ports here. So these are where, what we call, I guess internally, we call these the feet. So these are the feet of the system. So these are gonna go into the port uh, just to make sure it fits in there really nice. And these ports, come stock on all matrix sleds. Uh, and on the RMKs, it's a, it's a separate piece that comes out here, but it does come with it. Uh, on access sleds, you have to buy, and access and pro ride sleds, we sell a retrofit kit where you can buy this piece uh, and, and mount it onto your tunnel. So any lock and ride flex item will work back you know, 10, 15 years when you look back to pro ride and access. So, so you got the feet, uh, the ports, and then this is the hinge system, the spring hinge system. So this gotcha. is what, when you push it up and down, that's what's gonna uh, really get it, uh, that tight lock onto the tunnel. Gotcha. So I think this seat is super cool that you can just pop it on and off. So if you're going one up, if you're going to go two up on a day, you know, you can just take that right off. Yep. I see you've got a couple bags over here as well. It looks like a yep. rack. Yep. Well, you want to grab that? Yeah, let's, let's look at the rack here. So uh, this is our new adventure rack. Uh, so it, it is lock and ride flex enabled as well. So you get it on there, push it down. Uh, the cool thing about this rack is that it also has lock and ride flex on the inside of the rack. So you can take a bag, you know, pop it up and then you have, you have, um, you know, unlimited storage here, or you can use it without, without the bag, put logs, different things in here and use straps, um, you know, to really secure that in there. So again, a different option for, you know, if you want it more secure in here or just have it be open storage with, with yeah. them. So a little more universal in that sense. Uh, it looks like, you know, we've got some mounting provisions on the side. Are there accessories you can use or different items you can actually carry on the outside of this? Yeah, rack? that's a good question. So we, with this rack, when we designed it, we wanted to really maximize the, the space or the tunnel storage. So this year we launched brand new saddlebags. They're, they're not shown here, obviously. We have an adventure rack bag that fits perfectly in here that has two waterproof compartments. And then another cool one that we've seen a lot of popularity is the ski and snowboard rack. So it attaches right to the side here. You sure. put your skis and snowboards, lat ratchet it down and go. So we're really trying to build out this rack system and um, just really maximize the tunnels um, storage on a, on a tunnel. Awesome. So let's take this off. I see you got more bag options over there as yep. well. And like you said, this is a pretty modular system. Right. Um, so bring a couple of those over here. Let's see how those interface with the system. Yeah, so this is our sport low. We also have this about double size in, in the sport tall. Uh, so this is what we, what we were talking about earlier with a one position bag. So as you can see, it just, it takes up one position here. Uh, so you could use two one positions like we said. This is our new roll top bag. Uh, so this fits right in there as well. Uh, and this has an integrated waterproof roll top into it. So you can undo oh, that. Sweet. 
undo each side. And this, this one, you can surprisingly fit a ton of stuff in there. Put it in there and it's waterproof. Roll it back down uh, and then you're ready to go. So, wow. you can clip those on. There you go. There you go. All so right, that, so yeah. let's pop these off. It looks like you've got another uh, two stage or, or I guess a medium bag. Yep, over medium, there. yep. Yeah, I'll come around this way. Yeah, so this is our largest, um, our largest lock and ride flex bag. So this is that two position bag. Um, comes with the tall, so really maximizing that storage. Um, the other, just kind of other two things on this one is all the lock and ride flex bags also have these oversized buckles. And what those are meant for is when you have gloves on, they're super easy to use. They're really good in the cold. Sure. Um, and then another thing with all of our lock and ride flex bags, they come with an ha integrated handle. So if you're trail riding, you stop at night, uh, you want to go into the hotel or you stop for lunch, you can grab it, pop it off, and just bring it with you. Uh, and it kind of acts as like a, a storage um, carrier, a, a, if you will. So really cool. That's awesome. Well, we just know so many riders are bringing so many different items with them on the trail. It's just very cool to see the modularity and versatility of this system, whether it's bags, whether it's, you know, a two up seat, whether it's right. a heated seat, whether it's an unheated seat, how easy it is to just snap that right on yep. and get that stable accessory attachment. Right. All right, so we talked a little bit about how Lock and Ride Flex unlocks a ton of storage capabilities for our trail riders. Now I want to learn a little bit more about our mountain riders and how they use the lock and ride flex system. And honestly, I got somebody a little bit more qualified for that than you. So why don't you take a hike, Josh? Let's go over to my good buddy, Chris Brand here. Chris, thanks for stopping by. Hey, thanks, Pat. So can you talk to us a little bit about lock and ride flex for our mountain riders and kind of some of the capabilities that it unlocks as they carry their storage? Yeah, well, the biggest thing in the mountains is being prepared. And we have these awesome snowmobiles that are super lightweight. And the key to being prepared in the backcountry is we don't have to carry a lot of things. We just have to have the right things. Yeah, awesome. So I know we've got a big storage bag here. Obviously, your team was instrumental in developing our Barant line of bags here. Talk to me a little bit about this particular bag. Well, yeah, this is kind of my go-to bag right here. Um, so the cool thing about this is there's just a, lots of features with it. Uh, you know, this, you look at it, it's just a cover. Well, out in the back country, when a dude wipes out his A-arm on a tree and we're changing parts and you got nuts and bolts and everything, this is our parts tray out in the back country. So that's something that, you know, we, we purposely had this to help us be prepared in the back country. That's awesome. Yeah. And then inside, this is where you're gonna see, uh, this is where the magic happens. You know, inside here, we've got some partitions here to, again, be organized. You know, this is where, you know, toolkit goes and tow rope and saw and, and emergency bivvies and, and all those things. And so I carry enough stuff where sometimes I don't utilize all the partitions, but you, at least you have the option. Awesome. And obviously you're out there in the snow. That snow's gonna melt at some point. Are these bags waterproof? Yeah, so the, with this particular bag right here, I run the waterproof accessory liner bag awesome. in here. When we talk about the, the new roll top version, the roll top version is 100% waterproof. So again, gives the consumers options what, which direction they wanna go. Awesome, very cool. So let's pop over to the roll top because that's a new addition to the lineup. So tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, and the big thing with the roll top was, again, you know, for the guys who didn't want to have to uh, deal with using the waterproof liner bag here uh, with the roll top. And the other thing I like about this is you can see how much volume it gains here. This allows me to <clears throat> add, you know, take a layer off and throw it in here. Um, it really allows the bag to get quite a bit bigger. And the other thing is for guys who don't carry a lot, it actually allows it to get a lot smaller. So a lot of your components inside the bag aren't jumbling around when you're going down the trail. Sure. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. One thing I noticed about our mountain line as well as uh, versus our trail line is it's a little more lower profile. Why yeah. is that? Well, hundred percent. So when you're going back and forth on the snowmobile, you don't want that foot getting hung up on anything. So that was definitely one of the big factors of the, in the design of the bag was keeping it as low as possible. But then again, 
you know, and that's why we have the different lengths because you got to be able to have the, the necessities. And, I, you know, I don't like carrying stuff in my backpack. All I have is my probe, shovel, and like my fire starter. That's, mm. that's all I have in my bag. I got my workhorse carrying the rest. Awesome. You talked a little bit about design too. One thing that pops, um, you know, off the page for me is just the overall aesthetic of these bags, right? Yep. Like these are carbon fiber, man. These are sweet. Yeah. And some of the color accents on these as well match the vehicle perfectly. Well, it's no secret. I mean, all of our consumers have loved the customization that uh, Snowcheck brings. And now the accessory lineup is there matching that as well. And so the bag looks awesome. You're able to, you know, cater everything to the look and feel of your snowmobile. And yeah, you're right. The carbon fiber is legit. So you've been riding Polaris for a long time now. An accessory attachment has come a long way. Can you just kind of tell us about your favorite aspects or lock and ride flex? Yeah, I mean, the, the big thing was we had to make sure that the bag stayed on. Uh, in the previous version, t tunnel bag, I'll be honest, you know, we had issues with that. And that was goal number one. Uh, I was going to say goal number one, but they're all goal number one. Waterproof, mm -hmm. able to get the bag on and off quickly, and for the bag to stay attached no matter what. Yeah. And so, you know, again, with the, with the flex system, I mean, it's just, you know, it's so simple to go on and off and you know this is this is great because you know for example a lot of the mountain riders go to a destination they ride all day and then they want to bring their stuff in to the to the lodge at night and you know to be able to have that ability on and off very seamlessly and quickly is is great yeah that's awesome yeah. well thanks so much chris for stopping by really appreciate it always a pleasure for more on our Barant lineup of bags or lock and ride flex accessories, go to our website. There's a couple links in the YouTube page here as well. That's all the time we have. We'll see you guys next time on Make It Yours.